Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 6 of Sim Airport. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. So, of course, in addition to doing the uh, Let's Play here, I am playing a little on the side, trying out some things. Just trying to get ahead a little bit and figure out uh, how things work and uh, make sure I can incorporate those into this series if I need to. So haven't recorded in a little while, so let's just kind of get caught up. I'm going to put it on slow. All right, we've got our offices down here. I did find out, so when you are setting up offices, the visitor's reception, which is in here right there, you only need a visitor's reception for the airline offices, which are not your sales and CEO offices. So we'll probably put those in a different area, or maybe we'll do a second floor. Possibly, possibly. Uh, let's see. And the other thing is, I uh, haven't really seen much comp feedback on you guys. Of course, only one or two episodes have gone up at the time I'm recording this. If you haven't watched any of my other stuff on the channel, I do this as a hobby. Don't make any income from YouTube at all. Uh, I don't have a Patreon, so I don't blast you guys for money. Uh, I do this for fun. Which means sometimes I get text and you'll hear the real life stuff going on. Uh, right now, my wife is dealing with COVID. My youngest son, the cancer survivor, he just got diagnosed uh, today with COVID. Uh, they both went out of town, out of state to visit family and everybody sick that was on that trip uh, and everybody that they visited. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, so we're dealing with that. But uh, anyway, so, yeah, you only need the, uh, the visitor's reception area for the airport because they're non-airport staff. So anyway, that is going on there. So let's see. We've got our entry here. Here in ticketing. And what I foresee doing in the future is extending this out possibly and having a bigger ticketing area or maybe even going up and shrinking ticketing to extend our baggage claim. And we can bring that down to here and we can also bring it out to here a little bit. So if we can get this whole area, maybe that gives us the baggage claim for the future. It may be that we have to tear out whole sections and rebuild things i have no idea how is security holding up well everybody's getting through the checkpoint real good we are backing up a little bit here so i tell you what i would like one of the things that i have also noticed is before you extend gates or anything make sure you extend your security so we'll do that and then we will have to hire, I think it's going to be two more. One, two, yeah. Two more there. So they'll do this. And while you might want to get caught up in doing things like in, in exact order and, you know, like you'd want a whole room of these, you can basically put these anywhere and people will go through in the right fashion. It's just trying to get them through here in a faster response. Oh, just a tip as well. If you do want to deal with the remote uh, gates, when you build that the uh, and you're building the road access for the bus pickup, I had a road in my, in my personal save, I had the road looping around but it wouldn't work. I kept getting the error. You've got to connect that road up to a taxiway. Also, when you put the remote gate, the bus offloads in this red square, not at the head of the crosswalk. So putting the road across the top doesn't do you any good. You've got to put the road down the side uh, for them to drop off at the gate right here. So just a couple of tips that I learned the hard way. All right. Taking a look at our airlines, everything's booked up. We did have a little bit of a delay, two minutes. How did yesterday look? Everything went through yesterday, and we picked up the perfect op bonus 
just about every day. Now you can see how it resets back to a lower amount. So you really need to keep tabs. And this is why it's very important to build up your security and your ticketing before you open a new gate. Just something to be aware of. All right, here comes the new security. Let's speed that up a little bit. And then our security should come in. We've already hired them. Let's just take a look. Yep, we need 11. Here they come. And once we get our other police officer here, they will start working. Nobody can go to that gate until the other police officer shows up. I wonder if they won't show up till tomorrow. We've got them all hired. I will check back on, in on him later. All right, how are we doing here? We've got 30 minutes to get that plane out. 45. All right, they're boarded 22 minutes early. And they're boarded 35 minutes early, so we're good there. All right, I wonder, I don't know how a standby gate works. All right, it must just, so sometimes you get an error if you have too many flights that are getting delayed. And it says that they failed to reserve a gate. And I think what that means is like right now, if a plane was coming in that needed this gate and was scheduled for this time slot, they wouldn't be able to land and the plane would get, the flight would get canceled. So I think what you can do is you can build another gate. I think I'm going to have to look into that before I do it. And basically, it gives them a place to land and park while they're waiting for this gate to clear. And then when that plane leaves, they can back out and then they can pull in, even if they're late, right? That's kind of how that works. All right, taking a look at our profit and loss for today, we're 22000 to the good. We've made 182000 uh, Why don't we go ahead and pay out that 22000 today? that we've made profit, we'll pay that into our bank loan. And you can see that, you know, the first $1,371 $1, that we're making every day just goes to loan interest. So it benefits us to pay these off. Now also at midnight or around midnight, you can see uh, staff fees, infrastructure, taxes, all those things have come out of our budget. And so we have gone into the negative, but that's not a big deal. As long as we're making uh, positive cash flow with airlines each day. Checking our commercial pricing. I tell you what, I'm going to raise this to $800 and 30 bucks for the new day. That's going to keep them from getting too much interest. But right now it's more about building up our cash reserves so we can build and do the things that we need to do. And you can see at midnight also you bring in all your new inventory uh, for your cafe and your stores and everything else that you have to do. And so, yeah, it's just, wow, hold on. That was 3 o'clock in the morning. Why are we just having a plane take off at 3 in the morning yesterday? They were supposed to land at 11.20. They got here at 11.08. They were supposed to depart at 12.20, and they departed at 3.01. Now, Union Air, this last flight of the day, they've got an hour, and it's 50 passengers. I guess I'm going to extend that, and I'm going to give them an hour, an hour 20. But there's still no reason that plane should have taken that long, which means we lost our perfect op bonus. Actually, we did not. Okay, I don't get that, but that's fine. So we're 18000 in the hole today before we start making any new money because that last flight was still from the day before. So let me let the time run here for a little bit. We'll get some money coming in. All right, so 
7.30 in the morning, we've got a couple of flights that have come in. We're now positive $13,000. I'm just kind of keeping tabs on a couple of things, how quick our ticketing is going. And I'm going to pause it here because you can see we just had an influx. So I think we need to get another ticketing desk. I'm going to put that right here. We're going to go ahead and hire staff for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more in the ticketing ki uh, kiosk self-service and also extend it out a little bit. Now that tells me right now I need to extend this out and revamp it. But that at least gets us some additional stuff going on here. We put in the new security yesterday, so I just want to make sure everybody's flowing through here relatively quickly. And you can see while they are backing up a little bit right here, it's not horrible. And it's still letting them keep up here on the bag scans. So we're okay with there. And also, you'll notice we have this wrapping around, so I can add more of these all the way up here if we need to, if we need to. What I might do is end up tearing down this wall and just having, you know, several rows of these if we need to. I could even extend security down this hall to here and have the check ID checks back here and have this whole room for bag scans. Just something to think about. Now, I want to say we had looked at extending our foundation out here, yeah? And we decided we could not. So if we were to put another gate here, can we even get it there? I can get one, but I think the problem is going to be... If we do the taxiway, the taxiway will not come two spaces over. So they won't be able to get to that. So that's a dead issue for me. So let's go ahead and clear, clear this planning. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that section. Maybe it'll just be foundation. Uh, nothing I can really do back there. All right, we are up to 60,000, so let's slow it down a little bit. I'm going to extend our foundation out to here. I'm going to go out to there. That'll be good. Then we'll start revamping our ticketing. Now, I'm going to want to do this at night after all of the... Oh, let me pause it real quick. We're not researching anything. Uh, lower property tax, lower income tax too. These things lower how much we pay out each day, which is a good thing. So we need to, you know, we need to do those pretty quickly, but I need money for that. Uh, what can I do here? We've already upgraded our road and our buses. We've added in our road here. The pickup area is a little small. So maybe, why don't I do this? I'm going to put a door here. Once they build that, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this door. And we're going to add in a wall there. And, oh, you know what I can do there? Hmm. Storage has to be how big? Five by five. I was wondering if I could stick storage in here, but it won't let me do that. Won't let me do that. So maybe what I can do... This was going to be a small bathroom, wasn't it? I've got one over here. You know what? Let me slow it down here. I'm going to put, a, I'm going to put stalls and a sink and we're going to zone this as another female restroom. I don't have anywhere for 
a male restroom, but can I? Hmm. That's not going to work. I was trying to see if I could sneak a, a stairway in there at the gate. So that, I'm going to slow this reel down. So this is 649. So they have an hour left. There come the passengers. We've unloaded the baggage. I wonder if it has to do with doing construction here. Oh, he just came and got the cart, and there's 30 minutes left. I'm going to speed it up. All right, there he is. And there he is right there. So it looks like he got out five minutes over. Okay. So let's check our perfect op balance. We got it again today, so that's good. But something is happening... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hire four more workers. Because remember, the maintenance workers do the construction. And they also run the baggage carts and the fuel trucks and everything else. So, you know, you do have to have quite a few of those. So, all right. it's right. I'm going to pause it. And I tell you what, let's come back here in a little while when I have this done. All right, so I've redone ticketing here. Now we have this whole room. We've got another entrance. All We have extra kiosks. We, oh, shoot. I just realized I screwed that up. Let's put it back in and try to put it the right way around. There we go. And that person should come right back to work here. There we go. We don't have any cues because remember I, I I saw a video that said eh, cues are kind of overrated uh, and uh, we'll kind of leave that. I've also moved that large um, display to right here in the middle of the room so they can see it as they come in or are leaving the ticketing kiosks. How's security holding up? Still backing up just a little bit, but not horribly so. But you can see we are starting to pull back in bag scanning. Not horribly, but enough. So when I get a little bit more money here, I think I'm going to slow it down. Let's dismantle this wall there. And I'm going to extend security all the way down here to there. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to move these desks down to here. And I'll do that again tonight when there's no passengers. But I do want... Another metal detector and another bag scanner. All right, let me cancel that. I'm going to have to wait for him to finish that wall. There we go. All right, metal detector. Oh, let's make that part of security. And then we can put a bag scanner. If it will let me click on it. All right, we'll one and one. And then we're going to hire two more security. Now, you know, I'm watching the uh, the baggage guy kind of cut go through security. I wonder if we gave him a wall a security gate here, uh, like a staff door, if he would use that. I wonder. All right, we're still waiting on that second uh, second officer to show up here for security. Looks like some of the people from this queue are going through that and coming back. That's interesting. All right, how are we looking here? We're 70 minutes away. 
71 minutes away. And if you're trying to figure out, if you look at the top, the first two lines, scheduled arrival, scheduled departure, you can see right now we have 40 minutes left before the scheduled departure time. That's what I'm looking at. And there you go. So we were out in plenty of time there. So ticketing looks like it's doing the job. Tell you what, I am going to slow this down. I'm going to dismantle one of these at a time. All right, pause it. ID check. We're going to move down to here. There we go. All right. Let's dismantle that one. All right, and let's add that one down here. And this one here. Come on, pick up on the little, little click. No, not going to happen. Oh, wait. Uh, come on. Why will it not? There it is. Dismantle, please. All right, and ID check there. And I'm going to go ahead and put two more ID checks and hire two more security officers. So they're there. Once we get these set up, the other two officers will be in. There we are. And people will start queuing through to them. Awesome. All right, security looks like it's doing well. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this wall here. And I think that's it for that. And we've got room for two, two, you know. Oh, I, I need to do that. We're going to make this security as well. So we've got room for one, two, three, four, four more bag scanners, maybe even five or six if we put them in at the top up here. The problem I'm gonna have here is how do we add in a third gate? I think what we're gonna have to do, let me slow it down here. If we go with a third gate, you know what, I wonder, can I, I could put it here. If I go there, how far across? Looks like I can build road all the way up to the fence. Okay. So we're going to go with a remote gate, right? Right here. We're going to go there, and then we're going to go with a road. Oh, actually, let me put the let me put the bus in first. So a remote bus pickup, right? We could go right here. Then we could go with a. I need a hanger. I need, I'm just going to get a small one. And we're going to put it right out here on the, by the taxiway, right? And then we're going to take a road. They can drive across here. I don't have enough. All right. We're going to do that. And then we'll have to come back and work on it more later. All right, 42 minutes left. They are loaded, waiting on bags with a half hour. They're waiting on bags with 50 minutes. All right, they're over now. What's taking so long? All right, they were 20 minutes over. And they're 11 minutes late. Not sure why. He's there. We're waiting on baggage again. And he's out early. 
again just waiting on bags here all right let me slow it down now we've got some more money for that road um so we're gonna come through there all right let me disassemble cancel that one all right so we're out of money again i am going to want to add a apron bus right there so basically what we're doing here is we're going to put a gate in here right and we'll open this up so i can go ahead and dismantle this right there so people will lounge around i will actually put some benches up here i will put a gate up here we'll have a d two doors to go out and in and basically they'll go out catch the the bus will come pick them up right circle around drop them off here and then go back to the taxiway so this taxiway we're going to bring down here and just connect to the taxiway this one will bring up here and connect to the taxiway and we'll just have a little circle using part of the taxiway as driving And I tell you what, that's a good spot to pause because we're at about the 30 minute mark. So next episode, we'll try to finish up this remote gate that will allow us to add in a third runway, a third gate with flights. Uh, but we also have to do security and ticketing. So I'll probably want to add one or two more ticketing desks and then also add one or two more baggage scans just to make sure we can handle the throughput of new passengers and then we basically should have a self-sustaining airport uh, and not a whole lot more we can do there and at that point we'll want to look at possibly expanding out so what i think we'll do here is we'll probably end up getting rid of these bathrooms and I will put a up stairway and a down stairway an up stairway would go up to possibly what I'd like to do is go up then build new gates up there tear these out and then put in the extra large the large and extra large gates that have to be on a second story and then we can then re-gut and repurpose all of this area for security right so maybe what we do is tear out these restrooms and put them down in this corner and then have security come up this way with id scans where the bathrooms are and then all of this would be all of this all the way out could be security going into the stairways going up to the get to the gates for this terminal going down and underground <coughs> for access to another terminal that would be over here that's an idea the other thing i could do is if we come back and we move security I could maybe have the bathrooms here with like a hallway and we could extend a gate down this way and we could have maybe a couple of remote gates down here. Uh, so, you know, I've got some different things to think about and, you know, I don't know what the optimum layout is. I'm just kind of throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. Right. So hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. If, you know, thumbs ups and stuff, that lets me know you like the content and want to see more of it. And we'll see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.